This is actually incredibly important when you're masking. So when you're masking, for instance, this layer down here, that's an image of me, has a mask on it. What we can do is paint on this mask in black and white. You can also paint in grays, but the majority of the time it's black and white to show and hide the layer. So if we click on the mask, press the B key for our paintbrush, which is over here in our tool panel, we can see down here that we have a foreground and a background color. The foreground color is what you're painting. So when you're painting in black, and we can use the bracket keys to increase our brush stroke size, when you're painting in black, you're taking away from the image when you're painting on the layer mask here. When you paint in white, you add to the image or add it back or show it. Now to quickly swap between black and white, we can actually click this double-ended arrow over here. But even faster than that, we can swap with the X key. Now if your strokes are not black and white, you can quickly make them black and white by clicking on the default stroke option right here. So now we have white and black, we click this arrow, we can swap them. But when you're masking out here, like I'm masking, painting in black, hiding the image, oh, I did too much. Now I need to press the X key. Notice how it swaps over there. The X key will swap that foreground color. Now it's white, so I can repaint and show part of the image. And so we can just quickly swap back and forth between these to paint and show the image. This is super important in masking. You can swap to show, swap to hide, and the X key is how you can swap those quickly. So I pretty much, when I'm masking, I'm just hovering over the X key, and if I take away too much, then I'll swap back, maybe show it, and then take it away again by swapping back with that X key. You can adjust the brush stroke, obviously, the hardness and everything, but this is just an example to show you how to swap the foreground and background colors here in Photoshop.